start with um, attendance, roll call of officers. Our third of Akers, Philip Alvarado, Diane Stewart, Cam present, Betty Gonzalez, George Harvey. Betty's outside. Betty's outside of the door. Betty, Betty's outside. Yeah. 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 Okay, good. Then we'd have a farm, right? Mary Joyner. Yes. Yeah. Harvey. Barbara Mann. John. Smitty. Smitty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think. And our friend, our president from the French town, Pierre. And our director of this is It's still shorter, though. Um, there's 11 of us. Okay, one, two, five. Betty will make six. Yeah, so we would have one plus. Yeah. So there could be an official meeting with Betty. Um, why don't we, uh, while we wait on Betty, how about you do the budget first, Chris, and then we can talk about the uh, events. So the budget, that's all I have a copy. It's basically you know, self-explanatory. We have all our salaries there. Not all of our salaries, but most of our salaries are there. Um, we spend 28% of it up to date. So today. Yeah. All right, any questions on the budget? Can I ask a question, Chris? Um, because this, is this budget coming from you or from someone that's involved? Because I printed this myself, but this is how it comes from the city. This is how it comes from the city. Yes. So I'm just curious, um, is all the monies for the, in here are from the city or is part of it for community development? This is the money just from the city. This is just from the city. From the city. We don't we don't get any, any money from community development. You, do you have to apply for that money? For what? If, from community development. Don't they have a um... So my understanding is before they do the, the BCBG grant, the block grants. But before the senior center was able to get it, it was because it was under bliss. Like a city department can't get it themselves. Okay. So we can't get it. Oh, anymore. so so now because we're strictly under the city, that's not available. That's why that's what I was told and I was brought on board. Okay. Okay. And actually does this budget include the new worker in the kitchen? Yes, this does. Um, all the staff is sent me. Um, and when did she start? She started two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. she, she's um, an emergency hire, so she's only part time. And hopefully, we will be able to make her a victor full time. So, right now, how many hours is she working? 18 hours. 18 hours a week? Yes, yeah, I'm a victor for 18 hours a week. Which, which is good that she's here because it takes the load off on all the other staff. So now Victor is out, is able to give rides and pick people up. Um, it's a little tricky because he's 18 hours, so mm -hmm. getting people home is going to be, you know, we're going to figure it out. But he can definitely pick people up in the morning. He's already started this week, so any seniors that needs rides or anything, um, feel free to reach out to me and we'll figure it out. I'm running out of rides. <laughs> Okay. Any other questions for the budget? Okay. Um, motion to accept the budget. Well, I'm Mary. I'm Mary. 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 All right. Mary and George, you second. Yes. All right. Now we'll go on to update from our director, Chris Gomez. Morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, um, we had quite an eventful month so far in October. We 
had the celebration of Hispanic Latino heritage. We had a live band. It was a real fun day. And we're looking to have a, a fun Halloween party next Monday. We have our Halloween party here at the Senior Center. Love to see you guys all dressed up and, and we're to have a good time. So um, as far as outreach goes, we have it here. Um, we're, um, my staff will be meeting with Neil from New England Coalition tomorrow in Lynn Groves. We kind of want to work together and bring food to um, a lot of the senior housings so we can kind of, you know, introduce the senior housing programming and services we have. We kind of want to do a tour and go to all the senior housings and then, you know, bring little snacks with us. So that's it. That's coming up as far as outreach. And then our newsletter is coming out next month. So I think that will help us a great deal. Um, we've been visiting. We've actually started to get some seniors from other cities coming here. It's the word is spreading, and they like it. And, you know, we want to grow our seniors from our city to start coming. So I think uh, with the newsletter going out, I think it will, it will help a great deal. And then we'll keep doing outreach. Um, now with the kitchen coordinator being on board, Frees up Michelle to do more outreach work and, and Tanya and all of us to do more work that we can be able to grow into the community more and do more things. So, you know, our goal is to have more and more seniors come in here. We need to, you know, it's a service that we need to provide to the community as well. So, I, I hope to see things pick up even more, and I'm sure they will. Um, our diabetes and, and balance workshops have been going on. They've been a real hit. Um, very informative and a lot to learn from them. Our, our first graduation from those workshops will be November 22nd for our Thanksgiving Day party. And um, we'll be giving our graduation certificates. The mayor and House of will give all the certificates. And yeah, we hope to continue that start other workshops right after. Um, our computer classes will be starting at the end of November or in January. Um, we've been getting a lot of calls and a lot of interest in it. And I can't wait because I know it's a need that we have in our community and I think the seniors will really benefit a lot from it. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for that for signups. It'll be at the end of December or early January. Michelle and Tanya have taken the courses to teach the classes already. So now it's just a matter of you know, us getting on board with PCCF and Tech Coast School and you know, just finalizing some things. And our Thanksgiving Day party will be on November 22nd. So um, keep an eye out for that. And yeah, and as far as um, the newsletter, so the newsletter will have all our our monthly events on it, the monthly, um, the food we're going to be serving, the hot meals and the cold meals will also be on the, the newsletter. So keep an eye out for that. So the newsletter that's coming out will be November's newsletter or yes. December? November. November. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty much it. Any questions? What is the um, kitchen coordinator's name? Naomi. Thank you. And um, Chris George and I were speaking about um, the new food pantry at Silsby Street. Uh, was wondering, um, I know that they were looking for staff so that they could have to add more hours from their website. That's what it said. Um, is is there, I mean, is there currently or will there be kind of a um, information or sign up between the senior center and that? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, wow. I, I met with the boss. I don't know her title, so I don't want to yeah. chop it up. I met with her, and um, we're definitely going to be coordinating a lot of stuff together, and we'll be, you know, spreading the information that they give us. I swear, like, with a newsletter and with them eventually, like, I've reached out to every department. I said, listen, if there's anything, any information you guys want to get out to the seniors, 
please send it to me. We can add it to a newsletter. And other community organizations as well. So, you know, there should be a wealth of knowledge in these newsletters. So we, we're going to take all the information we can get that's valuable to our seniors and put it in the newsletter. So whatever anyone gives us, we're going to put it in there. And we have, we're waiting to meet. We're going to meet with the boss of the team. And we're going to be setting up a couple of things. So do you know that, so they're doing uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and like nine is free. People over there, they grab a bag and leave. You know, but they're going to eventually, like the panel saying, they got to hire some staff. And you're going to be able to go into the, the area, the room, and yeah. you know, like, just grab what you need. Grocery store. Yeah. I I went in there and I was I was impressed because um it's the food selection is very Much diverse good. and multicultural. Yeah. So it's not like before like it was just Beans. Like bags and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Like they had rice. Right. Yeah, they had rice. <laughs> they had pasta. I was really impressed. Yeah, like a little grocery store. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. a nice thing. Right now they're doing like a brown bag thing. Oh, okay. Go there. Yeah. Because they don't have the staff, they go that they prepare a bag and they leave. Uh, but it's by Catholic charity. Yeah, so what I heard was that so some of the people had been going there and they've been showing their uh, the senior uh, center card, but they, that doesn't work. You can just sign up for Catholic charity and give you your own card. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's Catholic charity. But they're operating right now. Yeah, three days a week. Yeah, um, hopefully by like our next meeting, we can have something concrete or more concrete that we can kind of collaborate together and come up with a system that's beneficial to us to both. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be great for the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, how are we? We're going to talk about that. Okay. Any questions for the director? All right. Motion to accept the director's report. I make motion. makes a motion. And I'll second it. All right. All right, um, and then we will go on to um, uh, at the last meeting we discussed um, setting up a training session for the board members. Um, and so um, I spoke with Chris before about the, I mean, not about this, anyway, about um, the role of the board members and um, what, how we can uh, support the Council on Aging and support the staff here and with the programming and things. So um, hopefully we'll get that set up. I work with uh, Councilor Jacutis and maybe Lamana and Chris to see, um, you know, who could do that for us. Sounds good. All right. And um, now we're on to the Friends of the Lens COA report, President Noble. Yes, as I told you last month, um, the friends traditionally on Halloween we give out candy bars and also I can talk with um, the staff and explain to them that any function that there would be a large crowd the friends usually have a 50-50 raffle so we will be doing that on Monday and hopefully getting the word out to bring the money because <laughs> the more money the more tickets we sell the bigger the need. 50 55, so hopefully we'll get to the crowd. And I'm glad that Chris gave the date for Thanksgiving party because we'll plan on that day too, and also the holiday party in December, whenever that will be. That's our main fundraising for the friends. And of course, we are here to support the senior center. And I have sent emails to Chris and his staff that any requests they have that they would send to me, I would bring it before out here. And we would be able to act on it because that's our function to support the center. So that's my report. And Joan, because of our role on the board, I have um, community members that always say, oh, you know, how can I help the seniors? 
um, the best thing that a lot of people could do would be to join the friends right. and help right. and your actually, support of fundraising and different things. I actually did uh, share with the staff and Chris that in the newsletter there should be the same article that appeared in the old newsletter that, you know, to join the friends and uh, if you have to make a donation in memory of a loved one, that's also in the newsletter. And we did get a substantial donation from one of our members, and that will be in the newsletter. It's exactly the way she wanted to word it. So hopefully once people see that, they can contact us and we can build our our program too because we have lost a couple of members. One member moved, another one is deceased. Yeah. And if you buy something from Amazon. Oh yeah. <laughs> the committee has been very gracious and all of the things he bought from Amazon. We get a it's a small percentage, but it is something. And we also got a, from uh, what's called a network, good good network, which I didn't recognize. And that's an anonymous donation that came to the friend. So, you know, hopefully once the word gets out and we're up and running with the newsletter, then the donations will be coming in because they fell off drastically through the pandemic and we can't seem to get it picked up again. So, How does the Amazon thing work so, so we can let people know? So Amazon Smile. Okay, so and you put up what what the nonprofit you want to go. So when you type it in the address bar, yeah, you just go over up there. in the left hand corner. Whenever, not that I shop at Amazon, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but up in the left hand corner, it'll say Amazon Smiles, and you click on that, and then a, a they'll give you some to choose from, but it'll also have a thing you can type in, and you can say um, friends, friends and then come to so then whatever you buy whatever you buy i think it's a very small percentage it, it might be one percent but it yeah, adds up because smitty is a great shopper yeah you know, <laughs> well, i also did that birthday thing <clears throat> the birthday fundraising yeah but that was a uh go fund me yeah. that was different but if anybody wanted to do that well, fund me to win friends of the Lake Council on Aging. That's purely acceptable to us. We'll take the money. We don't right. really, wherever it's coming from. <laughs> oh, no. Joan, what about the, uh, you were talking about the donation or the, uh, you make a donation of somebody's name and memory of. Uh, the GE used to do a matching. They don't do that anymore. They don't the do that anymore. No, and we, we actually had some, we lost some really great benefactors. Okay. Uh, and the GE, they did notify us yeah. that that no longer exists. Yeah. They will not be matching any funds. Okay. And that's a big loss it sure to is. us. Because if someone donated $500, the GE would donate an additional $500. Yeah. So we lost that. And we also lost um, Dr. Harvey, okay. who was $1,000 every month. And that's a big loss. And unfortunately, <laughs> You know, you, you can't replace those kind of uh, support nation. So I might be able to get donations in my church. You know, I'm high up in there, <laughs> and um, I probably can get donations from my missionary society. I'll talk to my pastor about it. Okay. Yeah. And the other thing, um, people that may not be able to donate on the big party events, if they could come and maybe help sell raffles or pitch in at those things would be helpful too, I would imagine. I know they are at the other organization I'm a part of. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually a big help. That, yes. I mean, if they were to join a friend, and basically that's what we, we like. You know, mm -hmm. Pitch in. Right. Pitch in, really. It's not and, really and so like much about say, the we, uh, We're going to have our 50-50 on Halloween. So I've already talked with George and uh, Betty I have. I really can't plan ahead. I have to wait till that day of the function to see who can come and who can help. So, uh, so far we've been fortunate because we we have enough people to be able to help us and responsive and and good. Right. Right. 
Good. Any other questions for President Noble? No, I mean, you know, the other thing I was thinking of, we're going to probably try get back to some of our old events that we have, like the penny sale. Is that something that might be in the future, you think? We, the, the one thing that we have not done is had a formal meeting. Right. And um, that's still, because just for these minor things, I don't feel it's necessary to try to bring everybody out just to say what I'm saying to you. And I do contact everyone who's on the our membership list by phone and let them know what's happening. And then it's up to them whether they're coming, they're not coming. Fortunately, I see Betty when I'm here, so it's easy. But I try to get the word out to all the members of the Friends of what we're doing and what the potential is in, in the future. So, and like I said, the other thing I forgot to mention, um, we're not even sure what we have here because um, Kay Brown and Bucky, Barbara and Tiro, did take one day and go through some of the closets to see. We were looking for our polo park, which was a big fundraiser. We can't find the board. And, you know, all that material that would have been there. But they haven't been able, because when they hear that there's people in the center, so you can't open closets and start looking to see what's, what's there and what isn't there. So that's another thing. Once we're up and fully running, it will be a different story. But right now, as far as with members of the Friends of the Council on Aging, I do make the phone calls and let them know what's happening. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so any other questions for President Noble? Uh, any new or old business that we haven't already covered? I want to mention also um, this week we had a podiatrist come and visit. Um, so we're working on having a podiatrist come in here on a regular basis. Um, we've been working on this for a while because the podiatrist that was around me retired. So it was kind of hard, you know, we know it's a big need. So hopefully um, Dr. Martinez will be coming here frequently and set up appointments. We also have a nail tech. She's been coming. She's here today. Um, she volunteered um, her services a couple of times. So going forward, we also have like, a nail tech here. <laughs> I see the work, John. I see. I know. I see. Yeah, he's had and, I, and what I found out today, because I'm not familiar, this, is, this was my first time, that I asked for the gel. And now I found out <laughs> I just can't use the regular nail remover, so I'm going to have to come back to have them remove it so I don't damage my nails. Yeah. This is it a, was her, it a was learning her experience at my age. on how fast they grow. It'll yeah. last for a while. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. And I, did, I was great. here for the presentation for the podiatrist. I'm very happy about that. He seemed, uh, and I read his credentials, fantastic, very personable. So I'm looking forward to an association there, too, because it's, it's so convenient to have these services at the center. Which is, which is something we try, you know. Um, even before I started, I always said we wanted the senior center to be like a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. So that's why we tried you know, to collaborate as much as we can. That way you guys don't have to go to other places. You guys can just come in here and have everything done. So hopefully we'll continue to add more services and programming to kind of fulfill the need. So, so the question, are we going to be working with less as far as getting some of the kiosks things that they used to have? They used to do a lot of kiosks where they'd come in and people would be able to just travel. They do that on the computer and then they do their, their games on there. Well, we have the, our senior center set up in the front where people can sign up for their programming. Um, right now we have some things in the works to get iPads and working on that. Hopefully we can get five to ten iPads here very soon in the computer lounge. When the computer lounge is up, people will be able to go there and use the computer lounge as well. But um, 
As far as a kiosk per se, we just have like my senior center to set up there. But um, I, I can look into it. I'm not really sure what their kiosk was or learning yeah. until. How many kiosks did they have? Uh, you know, it, it would depend on what, what was really happening, what they could share kind of information. Sometimes they'd be some informational kiosks, and then they'd be joining with like one of the games that they did, like they'd be going. It'd be game shows, like old TV shows and kind of stuff like that. I know that that was pretty big. Yeah, um, I can look into it. Um, but I'm not familiar with how it was. No, seriously. Right, right. Well, I just didn't know if you were communicating with Gliss to see if there was anything that they could share with us so that to help the information, whatever it might be. Yeah, I, I speak with them frequently, but I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, there's been a lot of information every day. People was coming in oh, yesterday. Yeah. It was on fire, yeah, and that was also was from the senior center, not yeah. Yeah. And the computers were all by the senior center. They were not. Oh, the ones that we had, right? But, yes. And and the reason I say that is because on the inventory list of what went to City Hall, and Chris can verify this, a lot of the things because it was so many years that they're just not workable. So as far as computers, you're going to have to buy new ones. Yeah, I already got um. But that was all the senior center. That well, that, that the rest. computer lab was the senior center. Yes. That, and that was the property of the senior center. Right. I remember Vera. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. There was. Uh, reason yeah. I, I'll I'll try to figure out who that was that did it. It might even have been through the stoves. That they would, you know, come in and set that up. Yeah, that's what it's I was like, thinking. It seems like, like something. Yeah, it's, it's like, you know, you would do stuff for memory. Yeah. 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 Well, I that think, kind of thing. That was, I, I think it's very confusing because we, the senior center, was leasing the space in Glitz. Thanks. Glitz was not doing the programs, the senior center was. And that's what that Chris is doing. There was kiosk also. They, Let's put them in the community. They were at Well Plaza yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and at the library. Yeah. I know those yeah. other two locations. Um, they had gotten a grant that you could go and work on this, but it was like one person at a time to do it. Yeah. So um, I see. I think an iPad is essentially the same thing. Mm -hmm. So once we have our iPads, you know. We're going to have a bunch of people going to sign up and play games or whatever, go on the internet, whatever it may be. Yeah, we could have the same programs, like yeah. the memory ones and things like that. And as far as information goes, like what Joan alluded to, we always have presenters come in and like, come in and present on certain subjects, like um, Maurice Pratt from the sheriff's office, from Cheryl Coppinger's office came was here, you know, presenting on skins. Um, Deputy Chief O'Toole was here last Friday. On scams for seniors. Um, we do quite a few presentations, and then we also always have the, the different health insurance companies. Their reps come here and help people. Um, Smitty can allude to Valentina. She's here every week. United's going to start being here. The other ones, Cambridge Health Alliance, will start being here every week. Yeah, one button on one here, it'll be all time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, PCA, they got to do it, Yeah, Bye. 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 Yeah, so and the information, like, um, Michelle is here to help people with the outreach, like, carry problems, health insurance, utility bills, housing security, and if we If we can't figure it out, we'll, we'll put you in the right direction for sure. None of us are social workers, but. We still, you know, we'll try our best. So, um, well, actually, when I did the thing, it was from through the, the program that the housing is doing. Yeah, so, um, I see you on that. <laughs> we'll see if we can collaborate with them. Yeah, and I would just, I would also, because a lot of the seniors have given me feedback that they don't want to cook a turkey. Yeah, that's. Well, you know, they would the rather have the yeah. dinner. Right. Yeah. You know, they would rather have the that's dinner. That's why we got a big kitchen. So Unless we used to do the pull up because, and then we used to do years ago. They'd give out turkeys, and then we stopped that, and we'd give out gift cards so that they could enjoy that, like you said. Yeah, they just go get a dinner. Yeah. yeah. 
And, yeah. that, and that's what that's why we were looking to see what we still have in the building, uh, because people don't realize they come to an event, but you have to plan months ahead. The letters to the donors have to go out months ahead, asking for the donations so that the gift cards can be purchased. And then there's a lot of work to preparing them for the board for the day of the pull apart. So it doesn't just. It's not something you can talk about one week and put on the next week. It, there's an awful lot involved in the it. So um, that's why it's just not doable this year, hopefully next year. And then that was one of our big fundraisers. Yeah. But, um, any Anything else? I wouldn't have suffered another million dollars, thank God. <laughs> Don't hate them double me. Thank here. you. Appreciate <laughs> <laughs> it. Uh, motion to adjourn. Thank you, Betty. Second. Yeah. Thank you. Adjournment is always unanimous. Yes, right. <laughs>